What's up guys, my name's Derek and you just tuned into the Blanco Bronco Adventures channel. And today, we're gonna give you a review on our rooftop tent made by Overland Systems. Let's get to it. There you have it guys, that's how easy it is to set it up via movie magic, time lapse. But realistically, that tent is very easy to set up. Undo a few Velcro straps, fold the thing over, stake it down, pop up your window flies, and you're set. Let's review what we have here. We've got the OVS Overland Vehicle Systems Nomadic 4. This tent, when deployed, is the size of a king size bed. So, for my wife and I, and three kids, it fit in there pretty good. Until they get bigger, then we'll have to reconsider. But, for now, it works. Let's walk around this tent, and I want to show you all the good and bad things with it. So, we've actually got out and we've used this tent quite a bit. Honestly, I don't even know how many times. We just threw the thing up there, and every time we were out and about going different places, we'd just stop and pull over wherever we needed to, set this thing up crash for the night next morning fold it back up and you're on your way let's go over the pros first first off it is easy to set up it looks fairly intimidating but once it's mounted to your vehicle all you have to do is simply take that cover off we don't like to take the cover off of the tent but we prefer to take it and roll it up underneath and then just put it in between the roof of the bronco and then the base of the tent for us, that works so much easier instead of having to slide the cover out, stow it away. But also, we don't have the annex for this tent. The annex mounts around the perimeter here and then drops down and creates a floor and a door system to where you can access your vehicle still, but you now have a room for changing and storing things and whatnot. So because we don't have that annex, that's also why we leave the cover right there, stowed right where we need it easy to fold the tent up and it's right there the other things that we really like about this tent compared to others on the market is this tent has a metal base to it feel like for what little bit of weight that we're gaining with that it's well worth it only because metal is going to last a lot longer some of the other ones on the market that we were looking at were just basically a form of fiberglass and as that's strong and light i think that the metal looks better and it just feels better when you're crawling around inside the tent as we're nearing the end of our camp season because it's starting to get cold actually happy first day of fall folks when we're recording this that's what they say is this fall time now it's going to get cold so we're going to be done with the tent after this camping trip but throughout the summer months this thing kept us nice and warm and more importantly nice and cool as we were out and about the rain fly detaches super simple. There's some buckles around the front and then on each side and then the fly comes off and you can stow it away and have more of an open air experience like your regular ground tent and that way you can catch a breeze through it. We did that one time and honestly found that it was more of a pain in the butt to take that thing off than it was kind of worth. So as what we've found is when you have the tent set up and you want a good breeze coming through, just open all four windows including leave the door as the uh, screen up and it prevents bugs from coming in but it also allows a nice cool air to come through so we've figured out a pretty good system that works for our family and basically as you see it set up here that's exactly how we set it up 
when we're out camping and you know doing what we're doing right now plus once we have our equipment up in there we found that our sleeping bag and our pillows and all the gear that we need for the night is small enough but yet big enough for the family that we can actually leave it in the tent when it's folded up so sleeping bags and pillows folded up right you can leave them up there and not have to store them in the bronco and take up more valuable space furthermore around the back side of the tent you have plenty of airspace to come through here again to catch a draft overnight and keep that breeze nice and cool through the tent Plus, there again, if you wanted to have the rain fly come off, it's just as simple as leaving these two uh, props out and then unbuckling the rain fly and it comes right off. Like I say, it is kind of a little bit of a job to do that, but if you want that open air experience, well worth it. What a beautiful place. I mean, just take a look at this and just soak it in. This is what it's about. Rooftop tent on your vehicle, camping, and enjoying it. This is awesome. Well, come on up, the weather's nice. Although, this ladder, I'll tell you what, when we first opened up the tent, I thought, man, my big ass is gonna break through that thing in a heartbeat. But no, it's actually a very well-constructed ladder. We haven't had any problems with it. So, if you're concerned about climbing up and down that thing, don't worry about it. If I can do it, you can do it. Come on in, let's check it out. But first, these bags hanging here, they're not just for looks. You got to put your shoes in them. Nobody wants your feet on their sleeping gear. So, take your shoes off, let's come on in. Thanks for taking your shoes off, here we are. This tent is actually roomy enough that you can't stand up, of course, but you can definitely kneel in the middle here and you can still have plenty of headroom to do what you need to do you know put your contacts in or you know change your shirt or whatever you got to do that way as it seems like it's not a very open setup i mean i can lay almost any direction in this guy and not even touch the ends also i can lay like this and talk to you and get real uncomfortable but i'm comfortable because i'm in a rooftop tent take the rooftop tent fly off the other thing that ovs is built into the tent is you get a skylight all you have to do is unzip the screen, and then literally you have a peephole to stick your head out in the middle of the night if you hear a bump in the night. Kind of cool. But here again, taking that fly off is just not our favorite thing to do, if you can tell. Kind of hard. Put back on, take it back off. Where do you stow it? You know. But they do have a stow bag for it. With the tent comes a bag that you can put whatever you need. If you're not going to use your shoe bags, or if you're gonna take your fly off, you can store it all in a bag. Now, the other thing the tent does come with is above the door here, there is a Velcro strip to where you can put in a light that comes with it that runs off a of USB. As that's convenient, we found that as we were folding and unfolding the tent, that light kept wanting to kind of get bound up in the folding portion of it, and we didn't want to break it. So, so what we do is probably what most people do anyway, we just use our phone light. Just a few more pros before we get to the cons. In my opinion, having a rooftop tent is just simply summed up as convenient. Pull off the trail, camp wherever you need or want. There again, we're not having to back up a trailer. Not that I can't back up a trailer, because I can. But with the rooftop tent, if you can back up your Bronco or whatever vehicle you got it on, Welcome home. Welcome to the camping of the forest. The other thing that's very convenient is just being able to simply pop it open, jump up there, where we have our sleeping gear already in place up there. You don't have to worry about setting any of that up. As far as our regular camping setup with our chairs and cooler and whatnot, if you're just gonna hurry and camp for the night, jump and go in the morning, you don't even have to set that up. The coolest part is just how easy it is to throw a rooftop tent up. Now, there are some cons, and I'm sure you can guess the first one is, I'm gonna complain some more about that rain fly, but not in the way you think, because we leave the rain fly on the tent when we go to fold it up, and I'll show you, there's no good way to keep that rain fly stuffed inside the tent, because when the tent folds closed, all that air inside there blows the fly out, 
and then you've got to try to hold the tent up and stuff it in place and i'll show you that we've tried putting bungee cords on the fly through the tent to hold it in but that doesn't even work we've tried everything the only thing that makes it to where that rain fly doesn't come out when you fold it up is to take it off and i'm not doing that taking the rain fly off is the worst all right guys let's go take a drive down the road and i want to show you some of the beautiful scenery that we found oh we didn't put the tent away that's honestly probably the biggest con of having a rooftop tent anytime you want to take and go zip down the road come back to camp and hang out you got to fold that thing up you're not driving nowhere with that thing deployed like that i'm sure you could if it was an absolute emergency but kiss that thing goodbye yeah i'm sure the first branch you come across it is gone and wrecked but you got to take that 10 minutes fold everything up put it all back away put the cover on and then go check out the beautiful scenery so plan ahead we still have room to bring a trailer bring a four-wheeler bring a side-by-side -side, or bring a buddy that has another rig that you can go play around in leave this as base camp and then go around and play and then come back home to camp but out of anything it's not easy just to jump in and go you've got to put everything away and then you can take a ride that's probably the hardest thing with a rooftop tent but this isn't the only tent on the market there's tents that simply are a wedge shape you pull a couple pins and a gas shock sets it up kind of like a hood prop those tents are super simple to put down all you have to do is pull on a rope they come down it closes basically lock it down and you can be on the road a lot quicker but when you're doing this with a family and you need that space well it's going to take you a few more minutes before you can go see the scenery my opinion it is worth it because we've camped in some awesome spots with this tent so let's take it down and i'll show you that process and i'll show you what that rain fly does i'm telling you that's the hardest thing to get over for me it's a personal thing at this point <sighs> so no matter what this is what it's about take your kids out go create an adventure and just simply go explore lewis what do you think of our rooftop tent on the bronco why it looks so tall it's cool dennis what do you think do you like camping in the tent yeah is it fun yeah are you excited for next year when we can go camping a whole lot more yeah okay do you guys want to help us put it away and show everybody what that's like yeah all right let's go so out of anything that we've actually had a problem with something going wrong with the tent i can only report one thing it's actually probably my fault because i didn't tighten it up enough when we initially set up the tent but is what you're going to want to watch is right here at this pivot point that holds this bar this nut as you're driving down the road vibrations happen and well it came loose and one of the times we went to set up the tent well it was gone so to make it work i just looped a zip tie through it tied it off and problem solved for the night but just kind of keep an eye on the hardware out of anything that's where i could see failure points occurring as things get loose and start flexing over time so periodically go through and just tighten everything up we learned that a little bit the hard way but Hopefully you don't have to. Let's keep taking this tent down. So to take down these window props, it's real easy. It's easier to do it from the inside of the tent though. All you have to do, simply pull this out and then unhook it from that fly. Watch your screen, you don't wanna tear it. And then you just simply take one bar out and then another. Goodbye, thanks for coming. You guessed it, same thing on this side. These ones are easy enough to reach from the outside of the rig. And I like to make sure you reattach these little keeper things to that rain fly. Keep it as tight as you can. Just like that. Next thing you want to do is take off your shoe bags and we store them up in the tent so we know exactly where they're at when we get to our next camping spot. Try to make it, you know, as convenient as possible. 
just like that. So if you're by yourself, this is kind of one of the trickier parts of putting away the tent. This bar that keeps the rainfly supported out, it's kind of hard to undo, but it's doable. All you have to do is just kind of support the pivot point, wiggle it out, and once it comes out, so what we found is you just put it right underneath the mattress from the outside on both sides. I've already got this side undone. And then you just kind of push it right in there and keep it to where it rides against the front of the tent right there. And then this is where we're going to get into that part about I don't know what else to do with the rain fly and it just keeps poofing out. If anybody else has any ideas, comment below. So we are at this point ready to fold up this tent. Now I'm telling you, here's the pet peeve of that rain fly. When I fold this tent over, it doesn't matter how slow or how fast I go, that rain fly always falls out. And right now I have it set up with bungee cords, trying to hold it in to where when it folds over, you don't have to try to re-stuff it in there, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Did it do it? Did it do it? <sighs> That's the number one thing that I dislike about this tent. Because now we got to try to, you know, stand up there and hold it up and stuff it in with one arm. And it just makes for a job. If there was a way to retain that raven fly inside the tent with a zipper or buttons or snaps or something to prevent that from happening, that would make this tent so much better in my opinion. But if that's all I have to really complain about, it's a pretty darn good product. <sighs> so now they got the rain fly tucked in there how it should be. Now all we got to do is take that cover, unroll it, and the wife and I just go, you know, one, two, three, ha, and we throw it. And usually it comes right over. So we'll get the cover on and button this thing down. Lift your bronco, they said. Dippy toes, they said. <sighs> But we made it. Get yourself a step stool. Might be a good idea. There you have it, guys. A review of the OVS Nomadic 4. I'll tell you what, for the small things that I have to nitpick about this tent, might not be huge issues to other people. The fact of the matter is, is they've developed a good product, compact, and it fits nicely on most vehicles. So if you're after that space for more than just a couple of you, I would highly recommend this tent. It's one of the best ones that I think is on the market for this size. Other than that, get off the couch and go create your own adventure. If you have any questions or things, comment them below. We'll answer back to you. Give us a like. Subscribe maybe, that'd be cool. We'll see ya. Put the adventurer away. <laughs>